everyone. Guess what today is? Friday Foot Frenzy. And today we're going to show you how to use a ribbon foot. Um, we've got the Foff ribbon foot and the Janome ribbon foot. I'm not sure what brand you use, but I bet they have it available for you as well. Check with us because we do carry other brand of feet. Um, I'm going to show you three different ways on how to attach ribbon. Some of the newer machines have ribbon stitches. I don't know if you can see that. Um, but because not all brands can do this, we wanted to make sure that you at home could also take advantage of applying ribbon. So follow me to the sewing machine. Okay, here we are at the machine with our ribbon foot. Now, most ribbon feet will have slots that will allow you to feed the ribbons through. And what we're gonna do first is we're just gonna stitch this ribbon down using a plain old straight stitch. What I like to do before I attach my foot is I actually like to grab my ribbon and put it in the foot. That way it makes it just a little bit easier and I'm not struggling to try to feed the ribbon through once it's attached, once the foot is attached to my machine. So there it is. Whoops, it slid out on me. So here we go again. And we're just gonna use just a plain little piece of denim just so that it shows up and you can see. Now I am dead center with my foot. My ribbon is dead center. But you see how it still moves a little bit? And you don't want that because then it's gonna be kinda wonky. So I have one more little slot here and I'm gonna use my tweezers to feed it through. And that's it. I'm just making sure that I'm kind of centered and then I'll just start stitching. Now, the great thing about using the ribbon foot versus just a standard foot is that it keeps the ribbon kind of lined up for you and it helps, it helps feed it better. Now, if you have a Foff machine, make sure that you raise your foot and engage your IDT foot which is gonna help keep your ribbon flat and feed it as well. It's the best thing ever invented. See how easy that is? So this is one way of attaching the ribbon. So we're just gonna cut this. Pull that through. See how nice that is? Just kinda kept it straight for me. Now we're going to take another piece of ribbon and we're going to feed it through again. Take it to the back and come in through your little slot just to guide you. But this time when attaching this ribbon, we're going to call up a zigzag stitch and we're going to go to just a simple zigzag stitch. Now what you will want to do is you will want to pay attention to the width of your ribbon. You might want it to go all the way over the ribbon or maybe just in the center of the ribbon. Really, that's preference. So you decide what you like. I'm gonna have mine set at four millimeters because that's about the width of my ribbon. I'm sitting here kind of at an angle, so if I'm sewing a little crooked, And there it is, attaching it with just a plain old zigzag. Now, if this were an actual garment, I probably wouldn't want to use either one of these. So what I would do is I would take out my standard needle and I would put in a twin needle because what you really want is for your ribbon to lay flat on both sides, right? So if you're doing a zigzag, depending on your width, you're gonna end up with this unless you're going left to right on the outsides, right? But I want my ribbon to lay totally flat. So I'm gonna take my twin needle and I'm gonna put it in here. Now this twin needle happens to be a four millimeter wide twin needle. So now I'm going to thread my machine with a second spool of thread
if you have a computerized machine with a built-in needle threader, you do not want to use your needle threader while you have a twin needle on. So if you're like me, we got to pull out those glasses. I like to use tweezers because it just helps helps me get that thread right into the needle and then I can pull the thread to the back. And make sure that your that your threads are not twisting with each other. I love twin needle by the way. Maybe we'll do a segment on decorative stitching with a twin needle. Whoops, see here we go. And I'm just going to move my threads out of the way. Now I'm going to take my ribbon and I'm going to slide it through here, under here, so that I can grab it in the back. And then I'm going to bring it up through this other little guide because I really, really want my thread, I mean my ribbon, to be flat and as straight as can be. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing here, but like I said, it's easier to load your ribbon before you attach your presser foot. So we're going to come over here and we're going to go back to a normal straight stitch. All right. And what I'm looking at is I'm just making sure that my ribbon is centered with my double needle before I start. So if you need to, you can manually lower your needle just right above your ribbon to make sure that your alignment is good. And then we're just going to start. Depending on how wide your machine will go, they do make wider double needles. I believe you can get them as wide as nine millimeters. Um, the most commonly used is gonna be a six millimeter, but you've got to make sure that your machine can handle that width, because not all machines on the market will be able to handle a six millimeter twin needle. Isn't that much nicer? And it looks even. Now I'd like for you to start embellishing using your ribbon foot. Thank you for watching.